Lorraine, perhaps we should put in a quick call to Gavin. Why? Well, he is our area manager. And we can call him Gavin every time he coughs, sneezes, or fart. He'll be all over us like a Greek waiter. Is that what you want? Gavin's hairy hands grabbing your ass every five minutes. I, I wouldn't call them hairy. Gavin's hands are like a teenager's. You do recall our little chat about loyalty, don't you? Yes. If we show Gavin we can handle things, he'll leave us well alone. We probably won't see him more than once a year. Once a year? All right? Mm-hmm. What are you doing for lunch? Depends. What's on the menu? Um... sandwich. Oh, yeah. Will it be hot? Oh, you can only eat it hot. Does it get served in a bun? Bring your own buns. And does it come with a creamy sauce? Uh... Yeah, yeah if you want. It's... Like ketchup or something? Doesn't mean an actual sauce, you know, bro. Look, do you want a shag or not? Loading bay, five minutes. Safe. What? Good morning and welcome to Valco this day. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like the Queen. <laughs> do you know it's so different, Andy or Linda? I keep turning round expecting to see Andy and it's not as you, Linda. <laughs> Right, yeah. Do you know, you almost get home a lot earlier than us because you're a lot nearer exit, aren't you? I don't know about that. You do have to deal with a lot more divs wanting refunds. Oh, come on. Is it broken, love? I met this guy last night and he said he'd give me a ring. Ooh, handsome, was he? <laughs> Not really. Oh. I still want to give me a ring. You know what it's like. Mm. We've still got two tills shut. Who have we got can jump on? Get Thingy over there, lanky lad. Oh, actually, Lorraine, I don't think the till is the best place for Leighton. He gets confused by numbers and certain colours. First rule of business, give the little shites a chance to shine. I really, really don't think that Leighton should go on the tills. Gavin, always you say that... that Le I can't wait to see her face when she gets this card. It's going to knock her socks off. What are you getting your daughter for her birthday? Well, I always promised I'd get her another pony. You know, the last one got repossessed. Uh, those bailiffs they don't miss a trick, do they? Ah! What is it with me and leaky pens? All right. Well, I've had two hours sleep and I nearly threw up on a customer. Apart from that, I'm fine. I've got the flu and all, join the club. I ain't got the flu, I'm all over. I went to go see the horrors at the union last night. Horrors? No. Sorry, not down with the kids, mate. Happy birthday, Alice. It's your dad. It's been a card. It's brilliant. It's, it's me. It's me. It's me. I think I'm still pissed. I didn't get in till five. Five? Sorry, Dad. We can't all be settled down like you. Some of his lights stay out past midnight. All right, Lindsay Lawan. Listen to you two. You're like a pair of bickering lovebirds. I met my ex in the workplace. Yeah, third floor coffee point. I dropped a boiling kettle on my trousers. Hindsight, probably a bad omen. <laughs> we're not a couple, Neville, we're just mates. Oh, right, I just... I'll better, um, I'll see you later. Yeah. Happy birthday, Alice! It's your dad! Here it comes! Oh, not again, come on. Happy birthday, Alice! Happy birthday, Alice! That's, that's it. It's kaput. <sighs> Baked beans. Baked beans. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. How does it do that? How does it do that? How does it? There you go. Thank you. Tofu. I'll shower when I get home, but I'll still feel dirty inside. Ah, oh, the nerve. Putting me on the deli counter. Would they ask a Navy SEAL to work in a toy store? I don't think so. You heard of a band called The Horrors? What? No. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Are they like the killers? They sound similar. Well, I did ask you. I'm surprised you've even heard of the killers. Hey, I've done more than heard of them. Their drummer broke down outside my house once. He used my phone. He didn't have any change on him, so he gave me a symbol. So, the good news is that three can come back in tomorrow, and um, only one of the night shifters phoned in sick. <laughs> See, are you glad now we didn't phone Gavin? Well, yes, I, 
I suppose I am, actually. Great wet streak of piss. God knows how he got to be made area manager. <laughs> you know what, Julie? When we first met, I thought you were the type that would fall in a barrel of cocks and come out sucking her thumb, but now, now I quite like you. Oh, well, that's, um... Well, thanks, Lorraine. <laughs> I like you, too. You remind me of myself. Really? <laughs> Just kidding, love. We're like shit and shoe polish, you and me. But you did mean the other thing about liking me. Duh. You'll do for me, Flower. <laughs> no thanks. I don't smoke. <laughs> Started when I was 12. The old man used to buy me a pack a week. Get them smoked, you get no bastard tea. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Give one bloody well here. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, well, hang on a second. I think there's a two-for-one on these. Yeah, it's two-for-one. Go and get another one. It's free. It's free. Take my advice, love. Smoke your way through it. <coughs> oh! Oh, my hand, Lorraine! Margaret? Margaret, are you all right? I'll bugger off, Sharon. <laughs> no offence, love, but you have really let yourself go. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think besides have split. I just wanted to congratulate you about your promotion to the deli counter. Not a promotion. Not yet, but fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, you've got little tiny fingers. I'll give over. Oh, they're all delicate like a little china doll. Oh, yeah, it says Jimmy Cranky. All right, don't get your little lady fingers in a twiddle. Oh, just bugger off, Sharon. <laughs>